<laughs> 16 weeks the top of the Billboard charts. You are the greatest voice of your generation. Time to be Whitney Houston. The producer, before I came on, on board, went to the family. Of course, you got to pay your respects. Can't just, you know, I mean, but that's the kind of man Larry Sinitsky is. And it was the family's choice of decision because of what they want to do or whatever their desires or their plans are to not be involved in this one, but to also uh, not uh, have, they don't have anything negative to say about it. To have uh, had that, that experience of being around her, working with her and waiting to exhale, of Bobby visiting the set, to meet him, to really, to see him in the room and with her, his nurturing, his, 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 his calm, his peace, her love, their love for one another, their little baby, to, to see that, to see her joy, her openness, her availability, the way she laughed, her joy, her spirit, all that come, came back to serve me in the making of this. There, there's been a lot of question about like who Bobby is as a person. You know, the media has always been the bad, the bad boy. You know, he's always had that stigma attached to him. In our film, uh, we see Bobby from a, from a wholehearted standpoint, where you get to see him from top to bottom, and you see him as, as a family man, as a, as as a lover, as as a provider, and someone who really truly does care. The hardest song to sing, obviously, is "I Will Always Love You." Um, why? Because it's a song that I think changes from performance to performance to performance. When you watch different YouTube clips, she sings it differently every time with a different energy and a different spirit. I'm not a singer, I never you know, performed, but in order to make something like that believable, there's a certain amount of um, her spirit that you really have to ingest. <laughs> Destroy me. I promise you she will never come between us. No one will ever.